I make big money, I drive big cars, everybody know me It's like I'm a movie star, but late at night, something ain't right I feel I'm being tailed by the same suckers headlights Is it that move that I ran off the block? Or is it that nigga last week that I shot? Or is it the one I beat for five thousand dollars? Funny head came What's good, what's good? It's your boy Drummer House at Game Entertainment. You already know. Battle Rap Soul Head Clean Game bringing you the latest on these suckers and the sucker shit that's going on. What's really good, you dig? <laughs> hey, check it out, man. Hood stories. I told y'all I got them, man. I'm certified, man. I got them. Y'all know we had like 20 some hood stories already, man. After they knocked my page down a couple of times, like when the hood story stopped at 12, I didn't get y'all like 12 more hood stories. Here go another one, man. When they just short, I call them listen to this. But this is like, you know, so but we still gonna call this listen to this, you understand me? But check it out. My mind was playing tricks on me. Yeah, my mind was playing tricks on me. So um I ain't pop pills, right? I ain't pop pills. I smoke blunts, sometimes drink a little liquor or whatever when I go to the bar, but I ain't never fuck with that pill shit, because that shit to me was like you know, out of order or whatever. So niggas in the in the hood was popping them bitches crazy. So one day, um, I'm on a block with my dude. It's probably like 5.30 in the morning. It's like, no, it's probably like 7. It's daytime, really. But it's still, you know, it's daytime. Birds chirping. So um, school pull up on me like, hey, man, your man just got uh, knocked in the projects. He was uh, arguing with his girl. Uh, CMHA pulled up or whatever. And uh, they took his ass. He was like, he had he left he had left this in my car. What, what's up, man? Why don't you give me a little piece of something and just take this shit? I was like, I don't pop that shit. He's like, man, just take that shit, man. I don't know. I'm like, fuck it. I'll get to some holes or something. You understand me? So right when he pulled off, the boys hit the block. I threw this shit in my mouth. Now, I remind you, it was in the, um, a gun wrapping where it was like half of the pills was out and half of them was in. But... It was it was tight enough to hold. You feel what I'm saying? So I tossed the bitches in my mouth or whatever. Boys pull up and start talking to my guy that was on the crate. Like, what you doing out here? Such and such, such and such. They talked to this nigga for like 10 minutes. You feel me? They finally pull off. They look at me. I'm standing in front of the building where I be, you know, getting my bread out of. So they really ain't fucking with me because they probably like this nigga live in the building. So he probably, you know, it's early in the morning or whatever. I don't know what he doing. But, um... I put, take the shit out of my mouth, and you know, it's got some of the ink off that green, it was some green apples or something, it was some ink on my hand from the slava or whatever, I took the bitches, rewrapped them, put them in the cut or whatever, went over by my dude and was like, yeah, man, I had to throw them fucking pills in my motherfucking mouth, um, oh boy, just got knocked, such and such, such and such, you like, for real, I'm like, hell yeah, he was down there arguing with his bitch, nigga just gave me a couple of pills or whatever, I had them bitches in my mouth the whole time when the boys was talking to you, so I'm like, roll up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because we out here. Long story short, I tell the next time I tell a nigga to roll up again, he like, bruh, we just smoked like nine blunts, my nigga. He like, nigga, you, that pill shit must have got, got your motherfucking system, nigga, because you, we've been blowing, nigga. I can't blow no motherfucking more. So that's how it all started, y'all. That right there is how it all started for me popping pills. So I felt so good. Like, I felt like just like, damn, I felt good as fuck. Like, I didn't even want to go to sleep. I just wanted to kick it. <clears throat> so, um, on the weekends, I started buying pills. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't do that shit every day. I, I started buying pills on the weekend. Like, when it's time for the weekend to come, after I'd have been hustling and shit, like, I'm going to buy a pill, nigga, and, and break it off in pieces. i always been nervous to take the whole pill because you never know how your body going to react to shit. So, I break a little piece off break a little piece off or whatever until the whole peel finally gone through the night and I'm nice, you feel me? So one of the best feelings, that's why I tell people like back then, don't ever fuck with that ecstasy because they see how, how you be kicking it. They want to kick it like that, but the highest soul is so good. Like you feel so great. Like you just want to, like you that nigga or whatever. Just imagine if you already feel like you that nigga or some steroids on that shit. So I'm popping every weekend. Long story short, I'm popping outside the weekend. Long story short, I'm finding myself popping every fucking day looking for that that feeling, that kicking it, 
that shit like nigga this and that going over bitches house fucking them real good and all this shit still going home to fuck my baby mama and I'm, I, bruh them pills ain't no motherfucking hoe you understand me pills ain't no motherfucking hoe nigga had a nigga running crazy out here nigga sometimes I find myself popping five six pills nigga in pieces <coughs> I got hella stories for y'all on this motherfucker ecstasy shit, you understand me? But check it out. Everything I'm saying don't even really count to where I'm going. I'm um coming from the bar. I'm peeled up, right? Matter of fact, before I even get peeled up, I go to my man's house and buy like a um a hundred dub. I buy a hundred dub from my man's. He give me like ten big ass stones, right? So, and in the hood, the nigga that you buy the dubs from, they already bagged up singly. You feel me? So, they, they already bagged up singly, so you ain't got to bag them up singly to put them in your mouth just in case you got to swallow them to bring them back up. They already wrapped up. That's what's so gangster about the hood. Niggas was doing it like that. But, um, so I bought a hundred dub. So, when I'm leaving, when I leave the motherfucking on uh, spot, I'm looking like, oh, these rocks big as fuck. I'm about to break these down to make um like four three hundred. I'm making three hundred off this shit. You feel me? So boom, I, I buy the peel from the same nigga I buy the dub from. Boom, I pop the peel. Um, probably two peels. I go to the bar, turn up, kick it. Now, matter of fact, let me slow my road again. Let me slow my road again. Once I buy this shit from the nigga, I go on the block and stash it. Why I'm going to, to the block, to, once I get to the block and I'm going to my little spot to where I figure out where I'm going to go stash it at, I go stash it. It was a dude from my block, a younger nigga, walking past. You feel me? Walking past something. He's like, what's up, man? I'm like, what's up, nigga? What you about to get into? Such and such, such and such. I'm like, I'm about to go to the bar. So while he walking off, I go to one of the backyards. I stash the work. And then I go to the bar. I'm nice as fuck. You know, you've been fucking with hoes and all that shit in the bar, turning up. You know, I'm kicking it. I've been gone for hours. So I come back. I come back to the strip. I go I go back into where I was at to go to get my work. So when I go get my work, it's, it don't look the same. It, it don't look the same no more. It looked like something missing. Because now I didn't got high, my mind playing tricks on me. You understand me? Because, see, before I stashed the work, I only spent $100. I only posted got $200 worth of work. <clears throat> but I told myself that the stones were so big that I was going to cut them in half and make $300. So now after I didn't got high, my mind thinking that I bought $300 worth of work. You feel me? I spent $150 and I'm supposed to be having $300 worth of work. So now, to me, the stones don't even look that big. So now I get to tripping like, I know I had $300 worth of dope. I know I had $300 worth of dope, which I never had $300 worth of dope. So I get to tripping. I get to thinking and shit. And the only thing that pop up in my head is the last nigga I seen before I, before I stashed my dope. And went to the bar. So now I'm looking like, okay, this nigga then came back here and pinched off my dope or stole some of my rocks. Not thinking like, why wouldn't he take it all? You feel me? So I go on the strip and get to looking for this nigga. I go in his backyard where this nigga be at, where everybody be at. I'm like, y'all seen such and such? Like, wait, tripping. Niggas like, nah, I ain't seen the nigga. So one dude was like, yeah, he went, um, he, he just left with, um, his girl, cause his girl be on the block too. He just left with his girl and he went over her house. Why well, pay a ride to take me where that nigga live at? Cause the ride be dropping niggas off everywhere. So he knew where this nigga live, where his nigga girl lived at and took me over there. Then it's like two in the morning. I, he, I'm like, that's the house right there. I ain't got no strap on me or nothing. I go knocking on the door like, don't, 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 don't. I'm like, hey, what's her name over here? She's like, yeah, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing, ain't nothing wrong. Tell him to holler at him right quick. You feel me? So he comes to the door, this nigga liking his night clothes, whatever. He's like, yeah, what's up? I'm like, come here, my nigga, let me holler at you. 
He like, no, man, what you tripping on? I'm like, my nigga, where my motherfucking dope at, nigga? Where the fuck my dope at, nigga? I ain't playing, nigga. Because he had his, he had half himself out in the beginning. So once once he had, once I started saying that, I grabbed him and yanked him out the door. I'm like, nigga, where my motherfucking work at, nigga? Nigga, you was the only nigga such and such, such and such, such and such. So he kept like, yeah, you tripping, my nigga. You tripping, hen. I ain't take your shit. So something just told me to let the nigga go because I was like, I ain't want the police to come or nothing like that. So I get back in the car or whatever, with the um, club nigga, he take me back to the strip, so I go to the nigga house that I bought the work from, and I'm like, hey, my nigga, how much, how many stones did you give me? He was like, I gave you, t um, I gave you 10. I was like, for real? He like, yeah, you spent $100, nigga. I was like, oh, shit. I just left old boy house tripping, my nigga. I yanked him up and everything. I thought the nigga stole my work. I thought I had three hundred dollars worth of dope or whatever. You feel me? <laughs> the nigga like my nigga, you tripping, nigga. You had a hundred dollars, nigga. I gave you a hundred dollars worth of dope. I gave you two hundred dollars worth of dope, nigga. So I'm saying to myself like, damn. I just went over this nigga house, over this nigga bitch house tripping. You feel me? Snatched this nigga up and everything, and this nigga. Had nothing to do with it. Just some crazy shit in my head. I didn't calculate it up, and it wasn't real. And niggas die like that every day behind some nigga like tripping off some type of drug, man. Niggas was fucking with me the next day, like my mind's playing tricks on me because I had a song called um, "Who Am I?" You feel me? And it, and it, and it, and it went. Like some schizophrenic type shit. But I just want to tell y'all that story, man. I was high off that motherfucking ecstasy. Not even know that that shit was controlling me. I never knew. I thought I was controlling it. And I found myself going over somebody's house. Paying a ride to go over a nigga house that I thought stole some of my dope. Nigga didn't even take hold of it. I'm like, the nigga that broke pieces off every one of my rocks. <laughs>